Hi guys, um, sorry it's me Anna here, <laughs> this is so weird, I'm not editing this at all, because I'm in my room, actually I'm in my living room, and my laptop's playing up, so yeah, let's talk about how I got in to K-pop, mm. so it was a sweet, quiet day, I looked at my computer, I'm joking, let me, let me be serious now, <laughs> so <laughs> Basically, this is how I got into K-pop, right? So, in 2010, I was just writing your videos. Yeah. And then, basically, Wonder Girls Nobody, the English version, came up. And I'm just like, since it keeps coming up as recommended, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to please YouTube and I'm going to watch it. So, they were singing. I was like, oh, this is good, this is good. And that's how I got trapped. And now, like, on my day. So, basically, I kept going on and off it until... 2014, I think it was, and then basically, I got to the school I'm at now, if you're in Greenwich College, but yeah, 2014, I got into one of the practice rooms, it was like september so that I got really into it in 2014, and then basically, this girl, she was showing me all these groups, I can't, I think she showed me um, BTS first, but I didn't know who they were. And then I became friends with this girl, and she was listening to K-pop. I was like, what are you listening to? She was like, K-pop. I was like, oh, I know what K-pop is, even though I didn't know that much. And I only listened to, like, the girls and the... No, not even the girls and the boys. I just listened to the girls. Like, my first group was Wonder Girls, second group, Girls' Generation. Third group was actually Co-Ed School. I think they were around there that time. I can't remember. But it was the one with Diddy, 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 Bomb, Diddy, Boom. Something like that. And then, basically, she was listening to EXO, and I got into EXO then. And I, I was like, oh yeah, my friend showed me EXO. And then I was like, she was like to me, oh, that's cool, that's cool. So we were talking, and I was like, yeah, they're so good at dancing. I wasn't even talking about EXO, I was talking about random band. And then she was like, yeah, but let me show you a band who can't dance. And then she puts EXO on, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know this song. And yes, they can dance. That's how I became trapped into K-pop. And for... A year and a bit now, but I have not stopped. I cannot stop thinking about my Oppa, my Unis. And because I'm now friends with people who are Korean, it kind of helps because I'm trying to learn the language. I'm not going, I'll, when I get better at the language, I'll do a vlog of me speaking. But I'm planning to move there next year. <laughs> I keep laughing, I don't know. I think it's because I had Santa and when you're Santa, I yeah. You love it. Mm. But yeah, so that's how I got into K-pop and how I've been obsessed with it. Mm.